So this was released from the office of Joseph Lesniak <laughs> for immediate release. Legal action imminent amid threats and interference in the search for Sebastian Rogers. So this was today. We have received all kinds of threats from minor warnings to serious and grave threats. We take these extremely seriously and will not stand for, tolerate, or accept such actions in any form. This part here is very interesting. Wealthy, powerful individuals, including those in law enforcement, must understand that there are rules and boundaries that must be respected. Power only responds to power. People rely on the media and content creators alike to assert and protect their rights, and many are trying to help in the search for Sebastian Rogers. However, some social media influencers and individuals have incited angry mobs, driving away those who are trying to assist, including the number one bounty hunter in the world, which who is more than equipped to aid in the search. This behavior has not only hindered efforts and fueled chaos. Hmm. I have advised my clients, I think this should say not to go live, but it says I advise my clients to go live on Nick the Hat on YouTube this afternoon. Although Mr. Hat will be standing down from exercising his rights to free speech as an American, we are not backing down. Sebastian Rogers remains our top priority, and while some voices may be silenced temporarily, we are ready to escalate this effort from town to town and state to state. We will be filing criminal and civil charges against those who have obstructed our efforts and inflicted financial harm on our client. Damages that far exceed what any YouTuber could afford to cover. Our message is clear. While Dog the Bounty Hunter and Nick the Hat continue to pursue this case, we will be pursuing every legal remedy available. The Honorable Bruce Lee Castor Jr. Esquire also joins in this joint release on behalf of our clients. So this is editing me here. I had to stop and come back to edit this because this is uh, who he's talking about. Bruce Castor, a magnet for controversy. Naturally, he's Trump's impeachment attorney. So I found this very interesting. He is the former DA of Montgomery County, PA, and he was hired as one of Donald Trump's impeachment attorneys. So he comments on this. This was regarding the January 6th riot at the Capitol. And I guess he was very popular in his area. He was constantly on the news. Uh, he was cleaning up crimes in the public. Um, in one year alone, he racked up five first-degree murder convictions. Uh, Castor's career since he left Montgomery County, PA, District Attorney's Office has been something else entirely. So he's rarely boring. Castor does not do boring. He became famous nationally for what he didn't do, which was prosecute Bill Cosby in 2005 when Andrea Constand accused the television icon of sexual assault. After Trump's original legal team abruptly exited, Castor was tapped along with Atlanta-based criminal defense civil rights lawyer David Schoen, who defended former Trump advisor Roger Stone and consulted with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein days before his death. For those who have followed his career, their reaction was either incredulous, head-shaking, or why, of course, Bruce. So, I guess he's got a, he's got a reputation, this gentleman. But he is, he is referenced in what Joseph Lisnack says that they will do if people don't stop messing around. Now, I don't know who's going to get the cease and desist or what exactly is going to happen here, but... You know, I don't think they're joking around. I, I don't think this is like one YouTuber saying to the other YouTuber, you better stop or I'm going to put a cease and desist. I don't know. You guys got to tell me what you think. And I'm going to leave a link to some of this stuff in the description. So if you go down, you have the poster that they made. Then you've got what Nick said. <clears throat> Hashtag Sebastian Rogers, all coverage live or pre-recorded pertaining to Sebastian has been paused due to an influx of threats. Shortly after 11 a.m., I was instructed to refrain from this matter pending an investigation and advice from our legal counsel, in addition to a legal demand that is being honored. So a legal demand. Hmm. 
However, avenues are being rapidly explored at the state and federal levels for relief. Now, I believe what I've heard, they truly don't want to find him. Or as one person said, we will never find him. Yes, we will. Continue sending leads. Now, just so you all know, I mean, he goes into the same thing. Uh, we're about to issue cease and desist notices to social media influencers involved in these panels due to the dangers arising from their irresponsible behavior. They will be held accountable. Instead of aiding in the search, some have chosen to incite harassment and put lives at risk through baseless allegations and reckless excuse me, I looked away, and reckless actions linked to these panels. Such conduct is not only malicious, but unlawful and actionable. Furthermore, be advised that the chief counsel of each relevant platform will receive copies of these notices. So they're talking about like Facebook attorneys, YouTube attorneys, TikTok attorneys, urging compliance with laws against doxing, and targeted harassment initiated by a handful of creators. If these panels continue in a manner reminiscent of the Salem Witch Trials, be assured we will seek an emergency federal injunction. Yikes. So, <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. Let me know what you think of this uh, new development. They're issuing cease and desist. They're taking actions this was on the fifth the claim circulating about our client private at night suggesting they intend to impose measures on individuals arbitrarily are not only false but also slanderous these allegations were addressed with the relevant authorities at the tbi late this afternoon so that was on the sixth um the authorities have been fully informed and kept up to date and will continue to be briefed in real time. This matter is serious. There is no need to send further tips regarding the so-called truth serum to the authorities. So people went with the truth serum thing clearly and called the TBI and the police as they are well aware of our clients' intentions and our clients' respects to the legal boundaries. Now, we all know that SF Investigates had already handled this and called because he posted about it, but it seems other people may have inundated law enforcement. I don't know. So what do you guys think of all of this mess? <laughs>